Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are having a fantastic day. So today's upload is going to be an orchard tour and I'm uploading this on my main channel because um, why not? I, I really don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to share it with you guys since I know I have a lot of people on my weather channel that uh, like gardening as well. And you can see this is a new addition to the orchard. Um, it's a tiny orchard. We have five trees. But um, you can see that, um, no, I mean, this is an apple tree grown from seed. It was grown last year. You can see it grew up a very nice stock. It was about this tall, chopped it down, and it developed these three scaffold branches, which are basically going to be the main branches. You can see it's, it wasn't doing too well in the pot, so I finally transplanted it in the ground with the permission of my dad. He was reluctant, but he uh, agreed. And you can see it's putting out some new shoots. A little bit um, nitrogen deficiency. Um, but we, we fertilize it, so uh, it should be fine off to the races next year. Uh, this is our pear tree, if you remember. Hasn't grown a lot this year, but it's definitely not doing bad. Um, definitely not dying. Um, it has no disease, <clears throat> no insects, pests, damage. You can see it just stopped growing the ends. It's kind of like done for the year. Perfectly fine. It will, it will uh, take off next year. And, I mean, literally, there's no sign. Any, every single leaf is healthy. It's just relaxing. Uh, here's the beautiful flower bed that I planted for my mother, and you can see uh, my mother loves these flowers. She always tried planting um, these flowers, and uh, it, this was a very hard location to get them to grow because very unfertile soil. We used to have a big tree here, but it got chopped down, and you gotta admit, that looks pretty nice. <laughs> so yeah, my mother is really pleased with that. And you can see this is our apple tree. Uh, yeah, it went through a little bit of a rough time. I sprayed it with this... Uh, horticultural oil but it uh, the leaves got burned but you can see it's rebouncing back new leaves it, it's gonna be fine it didn't really grow that much after it got burned but it, it looks kind of unhealthy it's gonna be fine I'm telling you uh, it's it, it, it's growing back you can see all the new green shoots up, up at the top also you can see here is our lemon tree that was grown from seed as well no fruits but you can see um, it's putting out new shoots yet again it put out already a first wave this is a kind of like its second flush and uh, it, it's going nicely. It's it's I like it a lot. It's just a really nice plant, thick foliage, beautiful leaves. Here is our peach tree. It has gotten huge since uh, fall or spring. You can see it's. I mean, it's pushing towards the sky. Some of the uh, growth tips or growth locations are four feet. This isn't uh, a big one, but let me show you one that grew quite a bit. It, it will have to do. I'll have to do a lot of pruning on it. You can see grew quite a bit, quite extensively. Um, it developed a crack in here. That's because of some wind damage. Uh, you can see, I mean, the structure is not good of this tree. It should have at least three or four scaffold branches, but it only has two. Uh, but uh, I don't know if it'll, you know, push on through. It's tied together. I think it'll be fine. I mean, it's showing no signs of slowing down just because of the crack. It's, it's doing fine. And here is the apricot tree, the last one. You can see um, it's 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 doing phenomenal as well also has a v-shape um like the peach tree so i'll have to chop it down next year down to here so it develops more scaffold branches and uh doesn't do the same mistake as that thing but um beautiful foliage as well and thickening at the trunk as well i'll just show you the grapes as well um you can see here is the niagara green grape you can see put out lots of new shoots um and they're starting to trail against the main trellis that we have the big grapes on they're already developing not that much fruit this year um there are some few clusters that are fairly you know big but um we, it, it, it did a, it went through a big trimming this fall and it was kind of like neglected for the past several years so it, it's making up but you can see here's a red seedless grape also um exploding in growth and here's the new concord grape which is the same variety as it is up here so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you all guys in the next episode